What's up everyone? Gonna watch the truck with the new Amaral car kit. Let's check it out. All right, everyone, I am in the truck right now and it's a little bit of a mess. Definitely needs a cleaning inside and out. Uh, Chose, definitely chose the wrong day to do this. I wanted to do it yesterday, but unfortunately had to bring in the truck to the dealership. I was having a trouble with the alignment, so that's all taken care of. But what I'm gonna do now, right, I've got to vacuum this stuff out first before I use any of the car kit, kit stuff. So, here I go, I hate vacuuming. So I got the inside of the truck all vacuumed out now. I'm gonna use these products that I did in the last video to clean my truck. And I'll give you an honest opinion on how they work, what the best way to use them is, is, yeah, is. And go from there and let you know whether I recommend them. But like I said, I have not been paid by Amaral. I bought all of this stuff myself, so this is not a paid endorsement. I'll give you my honest opinion on these products. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the dash, we're gonna use the Amaral cleaning wipes. So let's see how these things work. So we'll start up on top here. These are generally to get the dirt and dust and grime off. We'll go all down. All down in here. And as you can see, we got some of the dirt off. I think these are gonna be good to just leave in the truck for general cleaning. Make sure that everything's, you know, get all the dust and dirt and junk up. Oh. They do quite a bit. And like I said my truck's not the cleanest in the world right now, so. I've got a little bit of a lemony scent to them. All right, everyone, just got done using the cleaning wipes, I wouldn't use them. Uh, they worked okay, uh, not necessarily something that I would use. What I think these would be perfect for is a vehicle that has children in it, especially little children that constantly spill things. Uh, these would be good to you know, wipe up carpets, wipe up the, the upholstery real quick, but for detailing and cleaning a car, I didn't, didn't see the benefit in them, so. Eh, uh, I'll put it in my wife's car because she has my daughters in it all the time, so she'll use these. So let's go on to the next one. All right, next thing I'm going to use from the kit is the glass wipes. Not sure whether I'm going to like these. Uh, I generally tend to use Windex and paper towels on my my windows. Uh, dirty windows, just that that's one of my little... Uh, OCD things, the windows in my truck have to be clean. I have to have really good windshield wipers. I've always been that way, so I'm hesitant to use these, but let's take a look and see how they work. All right, just got done using the glass wipes. No, just exactly as I thought. Uh, they streak and they leave a ton of lint on the windows. Uh, again, I guess, you know, something uh, keeping a car for a small wipe, I, I don't know. Uh, they dry out incredibly fast too. So the moment you pull it out of the container, you gotta use it right away. So yeah, I, I, I wouldn't suggest these either. Uh, 
So I'm over two so far on this kit. I thought that it was a great deal. Hopefully redeems itself. We'll see. See if it was worth the money. All right. What I'm going to use next here is the Amaral detailer. Uh, this used on the dashboard and you know any plastic uh, components you know within the, the vehicle. So let's take a look and see how how well this does. Okay, so let's use the detailer. We have to turn the knob on. And I will use some hip towels to clean it off. Should be a soft cloth, but I don't have any with me right now. The one good thing with the detailer and always make sure with the newer cars, there's such a slope to the windshields that if you use the high shine um, Amarol, you will have trouble seeing out your windshield. And of course, does a wonderful job. All right, everyone, all done with the interior of the truck. The Amaral detailer stuff works beautiful. It really cleans the dashboard, all rubber vinyl products within the vehicle. Uh, it, you really want to do this on a consistent basis because the sun, you know, depending on the climate that you live in, uh, close you live down like Florida, Texas, California, that sun will destroy the dashboard. So by using this, it will help prevent any damage to the vehicle. So I use it all the time. Uh, like I said earlier, do not want to high shine on your dashboard uh, because it will reflect on a bright sunny day like today. It will reflect onto the windshield and you will have difficulty seeing it is it's that bad. So always use this one here is um, a matte finish. Always make sure you use the matte finish. So we're we'll on to the next product here. Well done with the interior of the truck interior is spotless. I got one more thing. I'll save that till the end, but we're going to go to the outside of the vehicle now. Okay. What we're going to do on the outside is the Amaral wheel and tire cleaner. Uh, what this does is, uh, cleans all the dust and brake dust, especially off of your rims. Uh, if you have an alloy or special rims, the brake dust is actually corrosive and it will eat the the finish right off your rims. So by using this, it gets it off and makes them nice and shiny and clean. So we're gonna use this on my truck now and I'll show you how it looks. All right, so what we need to do for the wheel and tire cleaner is we've gotta wet it down first, wet the tire down, I should say. Make sure that the tire is cool, which I'm in the shade, so it should be nice and cool. Don't wanna do this to on hot, but I would think that spraying the cold water on it is going to cool it down anyway. Close that off. Okay, it says to liberally. Okay, there we go. Okay. Just spray it all over the tires while you can see the dirt coming off the tires. Spray on the rims. Look at that. Holy mackerel. There's a lot of dirt on those tires. Okay. So it says to let it sit for 30 seconds. Okay, so we got 30 seconds in there. Just to spray it off. There we go, a clean tire and rims. Not bad. So I'm gonna do it again on this front tire here. This one has been in the sun, so I'm gonna cool it off. Front tires are gonna have a lot more brake dust on them. Okay, again, let it sit for 30 seconds. All right, these ones are gonna be Front tires are going to be a little more grimy than the rear with the brake. 
sprite dust. Got a wet sponge. Okay. Scrub them down. Okay. Just make sure that you don't use this sponge on the paint because you will have some problems. So that's what the instructions say because it uses an acid that helps get the brake dust off because that brake dust does stick to everything. Alright, let's spray them off, see how this came out. Brake dust came right off the rims, no problem. Yeah, those came out good. That looks really good. So I'm gonna finish up the other ones here and go on to washing the truck. All right, we got three more products to try. Uh, this next one is the biggest one. I have used this in the past. It's the Armorall Ultra Shine. It contains both the soap and the wax in it. This stuff works great. It, it does a really good job. So what I'm gonna do is use the bucket, use the sponge, we gotta wash the truck. So this camera is gonna go far away because it cannot get wet. So let's wash the truck. step that we're going to do is we're bringing out the original Amaral protectant. This is what started it all. Uh, this stuff is great. It's absolutely great. What I'm going to do for my truck is I'm going to use it on the tunnel cover and I'm going to use it on the rubber vinyl pots on the exterior. Uh, older vehicles you could use this on the dashboard but the problem with newer vehicles like I've said several times now this shines. And the way the windshields are today, the dashboard will reflect onto the windshield and you won't be able to see. Okay, so I strongly advise do not use this on your dashboard. Uh, you can use it on the interior parts of your vehicle, just not on the top of the dashboard. So let's get going. I'm gonna use this on the tunnel cover and let's see how it works out. All right, I got the Amarol all over, the original Amarol on my tunnel cover. The thing is beautiful, it's shining up nice. I did all the trim on the outside. Uh, I'm going to go through the back seat and do that a little bit later. But I'm starting to run out of daylight here, so I got to get moving. Uh, two more steps. One major one, minor, one minor one. So let's go to the next step. All right, next step, tire shine. I've never used this. I normally use the aerosol can with the foam. Uh, this came in the kit, so I'll give it a shot, see how it works. What I need to do is spray it on, let it sit for, they said, three to five minutes, preferably 15 minutes to get a really good shine. So... Let's see how this stuff works on the tire. All right, I run the last pot for detailing my truck today. Will be this. It's 
a fresh F, it's an air freshener fresh fx it's tranquil skies it will go on the air freshener now i normally wouldn't buy one of these things uh so this is an extra um i'll try it out see what it makes my truck smell like but like i said this is a bonus i wouldn't have bought this normally if i was buying stuff for cleaning my truck so i know these things are pain in the ass to open up there we go all right got it open these things usually suck to open up but i got it okay just uh clips onto the the air for i mean the the vent a little air freshener you gotta pull the tab out so the smell starts working so let's pull it Hmm, nice smell. Clip it on the air freshener like so. It's got a nice scent, not too bad. So, those are all the parts of the car detailing kit from Amaral. Uh, now let's see how easily they go back into the bucket. All right, so I'm all done. Uh, I've used all the products that came in the car care kit or complete detailing car kit kit um my final determination is meh i'm really not sure whether i saved money uh there's several products in here that i said i would have never bought uh so kind of bonus i think i kind of broke even with the stuff that i did use uh so yeah i mean the this here the cleaning wipes and the glass wipes don't recommend those do not recommend those they they're good for quick cleanups in the car a uh, quick wipe of the wi window but to get your glass or your upholstery or everything clean no they're not worth it now the wheel and tire cleaner the detailer and the wash and wax i do recommend those those i would buy uh the wheel and tire cleaner, I could not believe how much grime came off my tires when I sprayed it on them. And when they were done, they were spotless. I mean, I was to the point where I almost didn't need, you know, the tire shiner. They looked that good. But getting to the tire shiner, I just put that on there. And if it stays as shiny as it is right now, that's better than the foam. They, they, they look like glass, the tires. So I know they'll dull out a little bit, but I'm letting them sit for 15 or 20 minutes before I move the truck. But I'm in the shade right now. I want to see what it looks like once I get into the sunlight. But everything's done on the truck. My truck is completely cleaned out right now. They did a good job. They did a really good job. Like I said, I say meh on it. I, like I said, I don't think it was a great deal. I think I broke even with it. So it's up to you. I mean, look at the products that are here and if you're gonna use these, I mean, they're great. So uh, let's do one last thing before I end this video. Let's see how easy it is to put all this stuff back in. I've already put the sponge in there. I've emptied the bucket out. So just a matter of just uh, popping everything in here. I did it the other night. Oops, almost dropped it there. And everything fits right back in. Just put the top on. Like so. It's in there. Nice, easy storage. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, thank you. Please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom and you'll be able to check out all the videos that I've done. Uh, if you already subscribed or you just subscribed, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, if you hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button, you'll get a notification anytime I put up a video. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this video. And I'll be doing more like this. These seem fun. They're fun. It takes a while for me to do, but they're fun. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will get you guys soon.